everyone, Pick One from Pick One Party here, and today I decided to do something a little different on my channel. I decided to make a how to episode where I show you how to make this house that I have back here. And I built multiple of these houses to try to test different designs, and I think it'll be fun. So, if you guys want to see a series out of this, comment down below what you want me to build, and I'll be sure to build it. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe, I would love that. Alright. Let's get started on building this house. I call it the Luchador in the house. No, I'm just kidding. That's not what I call it. It doesn't have a name yet. Okay, guys. So for this build, you will need oak wood. Or any type of wood. Any type of wood planks. Any type of glass or iron bars. Whatever floats your boat. Torches. Any type of door. Any kind of trap door. Preferably wooden. Any, well, any type of light source. It's this is optional though. Any type of fence, any type of stair. Preferably wood stairs. So, let's get started. To start, we're going to make a basic outline so that we know what we're going to build and where we're going to build it. Take a block of any kind and make a little one, two, three, three by one like that. Just gonna clear out some area here. Okay, so we're going to start by going out three from this. So one, two, three. Put it on the fourth block, like this. Do that on the other side. One, two, three, on the fourth block, like that. Now we're going to go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So now we're going to make a ten block gap. So let me just clear this out real quick. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the eleventh block, place another piece of wood or any type of wood. Or you have a block for that matter. You can make this several different ways. Now make sure that this piece of wood is lined up like this. This little square is going to be the base of our building. Okay, so now we're going to get started now. From this block, go diagonal up one right there. Now go over three more until there's a one block space right here. Now do this for the other side. One, two, three, four. There should be a one block gap in between these for your door. On the other side, make sure that you just go all the way across, but make sure it stays diagonal. Make it this is also for the back. Now, if you want to, you could add a back door for this little design right here. I don't want it to snow. And you don't, again, you don't have to. It's just optional. And oh my gosh, I must clear up some of this snow. Do, 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 do. Why do I have to make this a snowy world? There we go. Now do this for the other side. Right now, your house should look something like this. Okay, so now we're going to place our doors. Put one piece of wood right here, facing any direction, and put a door down. To find where we're going to put the other piece of wood, we're going to do a crosshatch pattern. You don't have to do a crosshatch pattern. This is just what I like to do. You can make your floor whatever you wish. Make sure your doors are in the same spot. Okay, from this piece of wood, we're going to go up four more. So from here, one, two, three, four. Do this on all of them. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Like this. From the top piece of wood, go over with your pieces of wood. Like this, to make a nice little bridge-like pattern. Do this all the way around your building. This will make a basic frame where we can finish building all the features that will be in our house. This frame isn't necessary, again, but it will help. In the end, it should look something like this. Okay, so, on the inside, make sure you have your planks or just anything other than the wood. 
outline the pieces of wood that you put down all along the rim with wood planks or again any other piece that you're using. This way we can line up with the bottom. From the bottom corners go up three so that the corners are meeting through these columns. Do this on all corners. Like so. Now we're going to make our windows. To make our windows, we're going to go across one more time with wood planks. This way, the windows are even from the top and the bottom. Like so. To make our windows, we're first going to need to outline the door. This way the glass doesn't touch the door. You don't have to do two by two windows. This is just what I prefer to do. There are several different ways you can make this design. I just like the two by two windows. Finish this on all sides, making two by two windows all the way across. When you're done, it should look something like this. Before we do anything else, we're going to fill in our windows with glass paint. Fill in each window with glass panes, glass, stained glass, stained glass panes, etc. You can also do iron bars, which would make for a pretty cool looking design. I prefer to use glass though. Basic glass panes for a basic window. Do this in all of the window slots. When you are done with that, go inside. Make sure that your floor, if you're doing a cross hatch like I am, is just like this. Now, to finish up the cross hatch, you're going to do over, under, over. So one facing the other way every time. It's kind of like weaving a basket if you've ever done that before. I've only done it once and I'm not good at weaving. So this cross hatch pattern gets a little tedious. So I am going to skip forward until the floor is done. So I will see you when the floor is done. Alright, the floor is done. If you did cross hatch, it should look something like this. If you've done another floor design, it does not look like this. It may look similar to this, but it could be consistent different also. We're going to do the same thing for the roof. You can make your roof anything you want, but for the second floor, I do want it to have the same floor as the first. So I'm going to do the cross hatch pattern again. For the roof, the cross hatch pattern can be simpler. Just put one here, like this, here, here, and here, and then fill in the gaps going sideways. Now on the sideways ones, go forward, 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 and then after those, put these little gaps. Fill in these gaps until you finish. I'm going to cut this out since this is take a while. Alright guys, so if you do a cross hatch pattern, it should look something like this. I'm going to make a day real quick so that you guys can see. So this is what the basic first floor of your house could look like. So it looks similar to this. Also, I am going to do, uh, this should look like this, ev a lot every now and then in the video, so you don't get confused and miss something. If you don't want to see this, just skip ahead until the part that I don't see this. Also, I do have a cold, so don't mind me. Okay, so, put two torches to the left and right of the top block of the door. Only on the outside. We're not doing the inside yet. Like that. Now, we're going to start making the top floor of the house. To do this, we're going to go from this block up five. So one, two, three, four, five. Do this on every wood block corner. Again, this is going to be the same as the outer rim that we did for the very first floor. Like so. Now do what you did with the first floor. Make sure you rim the outside like this, to make a basic bridge-like pattern. This is going to be the structure for the second floor as it was for the first floor. The second floor and the first floor only have a couple of differences, but we'll get to that later. Right now, they are pretty much the same in building, so you may be able to guess what I'm going to do. That is fine, just skip ahead till you, do till you find something that you don't know how to do, and then we'll do it. It should look something like this when you're done. Okay, 
So now we're going to do the same thing as we did for the first floor. We're going to line the wood with wood plank or any other substitute, like this. This is going to perfectly line up the bottom and the top so that we can make our windows aligned. This also will help with the door if we want to make the balcony. Now we're going to do the same thing on the bottom floor so it's not already outlined. Outline the bottom floor with wood planks or any other substitute, just like we did for the top part. As this was already done for us on the bottom floor, we haven't had to do this before. So, now we're going to do the same thing as the bottom floor. Take both corners and link them up with three of the wood plank or wood plank substitutes. So now we're going to do something that's completely optional. Just as the floor on the bottom, we can also make a floor on the top as a balcony. This is what I'm going to do, just for an example. You do not have to do this. You can just make a window or just not make a window at all there, just like for the first floor. You do not have to put in a back door. I just prefer this this way. Now we're going to make the windows. To make the windows, do as you did before and then the first line with the bottom line. This is going to perfectly get the windows a top and bottom that looks even, instead of being completely off. It will look even from the in outside right now, but it won't from the inside. This is because we have not made our roof yet. We're going to do the same window design as we did for the first floor, or a different one if you're not following our design exactly. Do what you did for the first floor door, on both sides. Again, this is only if you're doing the door. If you are not doing the door, Simply do what you must. I'm going to do the same 2x2 two two window pattern for the first floor as I will do for the second floor. When it is done, it should look something like this. So now we're going to continue filling in the windows, but first, let's put down our doors. You can put down the doors as you did before, but if you're not putting in doors, do not worry about this step and just skip it. Now we're going to fill in our windows. As we did with the first floor, or a little bit differently, we're going to fill it in with glass panes, glass, stained glass panes, stained glass, or iron bars, etc. Again, you do not have to follow it exactly as I make it. This is just an outline for you to get started. Okay, we're almost done. After we make the windows, we're going to finish up on the roof. To make the roof, I am going to do the exact same crosshatch pattern as I've done for the first floor and second floor. Again, you do not have to do this pattern. I just prefer it since it looks nice. If you forgot how to do it, simply do this. Put one facing forward, toward you, like this. For all the block gaps that you see like this, put one sideways, facing away. This will make a nice little Mm, diamond shape pattern, I like to call it. Okay, I'm going to toggle the downfall. I'll see you guys when I finish this. It does get quite tedious. Okay, I just finished the roof. Now that we're done with the roof, your house should look something like this. Again, it shouldn't look exactly like this. Well, if you don't want it to, at least. You can change up the style as many times as you want. This is just a little starter to get you going. Okay, now we're going to get some aesthetics. You do not have to do any of what I'm about to do. If you put the door here, you can make it balcony-like and put fences so that if you open the door and walk out, you can just see what's going on outside and not fall off and take fall damage. I'm going to do this on both sides since it makes it look more fancy. If you add doors, it should look like this. Okay, for those of you who didn't add doors, we're just going to start on the roof. To start on the roof, take stairs. Oops, I just destroyed my stairs. Haha. <laughs> uh, good way to go, Camille. You're a genius. There we go. Take any type of stair. Take the stairs and rim the outlined part of the top of the roof like this. It should be directly lined up with the fifth wood up or on the crosshat that we did. Do this on both sides, but do not do it on the front where the door is. This will mess up the design completely. Do the same one block up on top of the rim. 
this is probably the easiest part of this build. Okay, this is where it gets a little more challenging. Now take the wood planks and do the front and back of the house with wood. Do not use stairs, use wood. This will completely undermine the design. Now take stairs and put one on top of the wood plank that you just made. Continue that all the way across, like so. Sorry for the sniffles, guys. I do have a cold, so I can't really help it. There we go. Now take and fill in the remaining front and back spots with no stairs with wood planks. Fill in the roof area with the giant hole in with wood planks or any other substitute that you're using. I'll be right back when this is done. When the basic outline in your roof is done, it should look something like this. You can stop here if this is what you like, but I do have an easier solution. Take wood planks and your wood plank substitute and line the bottom of the stairs like this. Line the top of your roof like this, and then go underneath the stairs like this. In all the blank spots where there aren't stairs yet, put stairs on on the side of the wood plank. It should look something like this. Do this on the front and the back so that the roof is symmetrical. Again, you could have stopped before if that's what you prefer. This does not have to be an exact build. Stair, stair, stair. And stair, stair, stair. Oops, stair. Awesome. Now that that's done, actually I'm going to make it clear real quick. Now that that's done, it should look something like this. To finish up the roof, again, you do not have to do this. This part is optional as well. Put stairs on the underlip like this. Line the roof with the wood plank all the way across. Do this on both sides. But again, you do not have to do this. This part is optional. With the finished structure of your house, it should look something like this. Depending on what you added and where you stopped. There's one there's a couple more aesthetics that I'd like to show off that you can add. Put jack o' lanterns in the corners of the top or bottom rooms of the house. I'm going to do top to make it look nice. Put trap doors all along the jack o' lantern so it looks kinda like a little light. You can do this all the way around, or just on the front. You can, you don't even have to do this at all if you don't want to. I personally like the design, depending on what you're using it for. I'm using this build for a uh, upcoming series that I hope will be on my channel. So, expect to see that soon, guys. Spoiler alert, haha, <laughs> should've said that before. Oops. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm not gonna cut this out, because we're almost done anyway. After this, I'm gonna show you how to make a basic garden in the back. Again, this part of the video will be optional. You do not have to do any of what I am about to do. For this part, you will probably not need any of the materials you just had. I'll go get some materials. I'll be right back. Okay, for this basic garden build, which I am going to be building in the back of my house, all you need is any type of two different types of blocks. I am going to use mossy stone bricks and cobblestone. Any type of fence or pane or iron bar, torches, a hoe of any kind, any type of plantable item, and water. To make this basic backyard garden, I'm going to clear out a little bit of snow so I have some room. You don't need a lot of room. It's a small garden. It's not the biggest garden in the world, trust me. It's just a little basic one I came up with in my, in my spare time. To start, take one mossy stone brick or any type of, type of block you chose and put a one block gap from the outline of the wood to this block here. One block there, just like this. From this block go up five more. One, two, three, four, five. Do the exact same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Connect these two from where they are right now. You can make the garden bigger or smaller. This is the perfect size I think. Line the mossy stone brick or any other block that you chose with fencing. 
or you know any other block that you chip. So I left something like this. For this part, we're going to take the cobblestone or any other block you chip, build two up, and then break the bottom block. Line the cobblestone with torches, but do not put one on top. The one on top would be useless. You can't put one on top, but it'd be better to decorate it with something else. Put water underneath. You only have to do this if you're in a frozen area like me, and water can freeze over. Take the hoe and line it all the way around the water. I'm not going to make a thick garden, but you can make this as thick as you want. Plant whatever you want in the garden. I'm going to put carrots for the sake of example. To finish it off, I'm going to use mossy stone bricks, or whatever block you chose, to finish up where the dirt is. When your gardens are done, it should look something like this. Now that the entire house is done with all the optional items, it should look a little bit like this. I'm also going to build something on the inside for the sake of showing you. I'm going to show you how to make a basic stairs to get up to the second floor. Put torches on the inside or any other type of light source that you prefer. I'm going to empty out my inventory since it is quite full. Grab stairs and any other type of building block. I'm going to use wood. The one piece of wood in the corner of your room. This can be anywhere. Put a stair on this side of the wood, facing towards a window. Put another stair on top of the wood, facing the same direction. From the glass plane out, put another piece of wood stair facing like this. Right now, it should look something like this. When you walk up the stairs, it automatically turns white. Make a 2x2 two two hole in the roof, or however big you're making your staircase. Take the piece of wood and put it next to the stair. Put the stair on top and break the wood. To finish it off, put another stair facing up towards the roof like this. On the top floor, again, torch up. This way no monsters will spawn inside. When you're sturdy done, it should look something like this. I want to thank you all so much for watching this tutorial video. If you enjoyed and want to see more tutorial videos, leave a comment down below on what you want to see me build next, or to teach you how to build. If you want, if you just want to show me something, just leave a link down below and I'll look at it. It sounds, I just want to see what you guys want to build. I also have, have a lot of fun building new things that I've never thought of before. This is Pickles the Pickles Party signing out. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!